Hi guys, Ronnie Slayer back, back in my Skyrim, just admiring all my uh, fruit and veg we've got wandering around here. Wandering around. Uh, actually, some of it could wander around. Got bees and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, just having a quick look at see what I got. I've um, just raided my blacksmith area because I want to make the white jacket that comes with the uh, set of the white gear. Don't know if you can remember from the beginning. Uh, but I've got to make my ore into silver ingots. So I think I've got to use this. Um, have I got sil silver ingot? I have a silver ingot. I've got 15 silver ore I just picked out of my box. So it looks like I've been collecting nicely. <laughs> So we'll just make these up a minute. Uh, is there any way I can do this? Yeah, easy. <laughs> just make these up. What have we got left? Is it, how many does it take? Two silver ore to make one silver ingot. Okay. You like the components? I know, just made it all. Right, so what have we got now then? Have we got enough to make... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> We got enough to make. I've got five. That's steel. Oh, even better. I got ten. <laughs> nice. So what can I? Is it in here? I make this suit. Have a look. I'm guessing it's going to be in. Yeah, it is. Nightingale. I can't make my armor yet because I need what? Oh, I see. I need some leather strips, 16 leather strips, and four leather as well. But I can make my bow. Nah, I want the armor. <laughs> so I need some leather. Where, oh, where, oh, where is the leather? In there? Leather. No, there's no leather in there. What's in there then? Firewood. Firewood. Where does the leather live then? Oh, hang on. Leather strips. There's some. Let's have some of those. I don't know how many I've got. Seem to be picking them up. Our leather chest is empty. I swear I had some leather. Uh, how can the leather chest be empty? That's next jelly. I thought I had leather. Where are all the uh, pelts gone then? I had a load. Um, skinning hides chest. Ah, yep. Oh, just been in there, haven't I? <laughs> so I take some of these wolf pelts. I'll have a lot, I think. Let's go and uh, see if we can. Where is it? Skinning rack? Skinning rack, anybody? Oh, it's right. Oh, God. It's right there. Right, I need to make leather. Can we make leather? Can we make leather? Yes, we can. How many leathers can we make then? No, I don't want to make strips, I just want the leather. Yeah. How many do we need? <laughs> How many does it take? Four wolf pelts. Flipping heck. Oh no, one wolf pelt. Oh, that's alright then. Alright, let's have a quick look, see what we got. Have we got enough yet? I hope so. Then in the miscellaneous. Oh yeah. No, what do we need? One leather strip. I'm out by one leather strip. We've got some of that there. There we go. Let's get some sexy armour on. Uh, armour. Right, let's make it. Yes, I do. Oh, look at my smithy. Cool, look at that. It's only got armour 44, but it'll just help me that little bit more. Because I keep getting my butt kicked. Right, let's get out into the daylight here. Let's get to the light. It's a bit brighter out here. A bit brighter here. Yeah. Right then. Let's turn around and have a look at myself. See what this leather armour looks like. Items. Apparel. Where is it? I made it. There. Oh, look at that. Go from 9 to 44. That'll save my butt. <laughs> ah, now we can get a novice hood. 
Shall I keep that? Increases your magicka. I'm not using magicka at the moment. Well, I am and I'm not. Take that off. Ooh, very nice. Oh, wow. It's very nice. I even got a cob piece for a lady. <laughs> oh, I got a cape as well. <laughs> Supergirl. Nice one. Well chuffed. Now I just got to get the boots and that to go with it. Hey, that's really cool. I like that. Have a picky. I got a picky. I got some cool gear. Let's go and show with Lucian. See what they say. <laughs> Lucian. Look. What do you think? You want to come and have a look? You're not going to say nothing? We'll have to get you guys all in this white because then I'll know who you are. You're not going to say nothing? No. Yeah. Cheek of it. Not going to say it looks nice and smart. And who's that walking around? There's oh, no place like home. No, nope, definitely not home. Don't no place like home. Right then. I've got some special gear. Love it. Right, bear with me a second. I'm just going to dump all my other stuff off. Okay, I'm just going through all my items, emptying everything out, and I've just realised. I've got six silver ingots. So actually, I'm going to make myself the bow that goes with my suit. <laughs> I don't know, do I make the bow or do I make the sword? Oh, I'm in the wrong room. That's a potions room. Uh, it would be better if I had a sword, I think, wouldn't it? Mm, mind you, I use my bow the most. What do we need then? I can't remember. Let's have a look. And the bow we need for leather strips. Oh, he only needs four ingots too. Nice. Look at them boots. They look so cool. Uh, Nightingale blade. I think... What's the bow do? 17. Uh... Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. What do we go for? I think the sword is probably the... No, we're going to go for a bow. I'm going to have a snazzy bow. Right, just need four leather strips. Wee! Back we go round. Uh, have we got any left? Three. One more. Four? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go for the bow. Let's go for the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow. Because I've got quite a good sword. Not that it helps. Might be able to take them flipping farmers down. Yes, please. Whoa, look at that. Right, you finished playing with your smithing? Leave the smithing alone. Right. Let's have a look. Where is it? Right, my Dwarvian bow is 17. This one is also 17, but looks snazzy. So why has that got plus four? And uh, less... That one weighs less. It's worth a lot more though, because it's made of silver, but they're worth the same, aren't they? It just looks snazzy. A little bit lighter. Let's have it. Let's have a look. What does it look like? Oh, look at that. Wow. You can't look at yourself when you've got a weapon in your hand. It's a bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Look at the strings on it. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice. Let's put a Very pretty. Love it. You've even got a white string. Cool. Put it away. Nice. Oh, you can see it on your back too. Oh. Love it. Yep. Nightingale mod. Lovely. I'm loving that one. Right then. Let's go and play with some people. <laughs> you like this? No, it's still not talking to me. Let's go and dump my bow off. Uh, where's the way out? This way. Just dump my old bow off. Can go in my junk cupboard for now. Uh, weapons. Dwarvian bow. Can go in there. Because my Forsworn sword, yeah, it's only 11. Look at that. It's nice. Snazzy. Right then. What should we do then? Oh, 
We've got stallion potion. Oh, really? <laughs> What's in my journal? Quest. Oh yeah, as I was leaving, um, 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 where was I? I was in Markarth. As I was leaving, walking out the door just a minute ago, this fired up. One of the guards turned around to me and told me about vampires. And I got to look for the vampire hunters, known as a dawn guard. They told me where it is. For the life of me, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> right then, let's have a look. We do need to get to here at some point. Is it here? No. So, 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 so. Is that where it is? Winterhold, Shrine of Azura. Well, that's Dawn Star. I wonder if that's the same sort of place. So if we... What should we do? Hold a Grand's Tomb. Let's have a look. Bear with me, I'll just have a quick look, see what I can find to do. Okay. Decided what to do. We're going to go and investigate the Bard's College. It's in one of the miscellaneous thingies. Uh, and just show a map. Is here. So, our closest port of call would be, I suppose, Statue of Meridian. Yeah. So, if we jump to the Statue of Meridian, we've got to go to Solitude to get to there. To investigate the Bard's College, eh? Ooh. Right, let's jump to there then. Please don't there be there anything there. Breton blood grants a 50% resistance. Breton. You can use dragon skin, hey? It's all jingly up here. Or at least it's daytime this time we come up here. Right then. Let's get my weapon up. My new nice shiny weapon. I need to get you a nice shiny weapon, won't I? I'm sure I've done that dragon wall. Um, has horse come with us? Or has horse just lost? Hello, horse. Did you make it? Buddy! Hello, bunny. Bow. We are heading somewhere. We didn't get a horse. Right, uh, magic. Shout. No, it's not a shout. Let's have an all. Um, Epona. Right, let's yell for a pona a minute. Uh, shout. Don't do it there. There she is. Hello, a pona. I haven't seen you for a little while. Cool, look at that. Really snazzy in my f fluorescent jacket. I think I've got brightness up a bit too high. <laughs> right, we're going this way, I think. I think that's right. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, yep. Put a marker. Yes, please. Rocking and a rolling. That looks really snazzy, doesn't it? <laughs> Going the right way? Yeah, I think we are. See, there's all these little tiny places that disappear. I like them. <laughs> Definitely the brightness is too high. That's better. <laughs> Not glowing so bright. Okay. <laughs> oh. We have a horse person. A carriage. We got people here with a carriage. Oh. Sorry about looking at the horse's bum then. Whoa, look at this place. It's huge. It's not as good as... Oh, they've got different gear on. And my horse is talking to that horse. <laughs> Right, we need to remove a pona in a minute. Because she tends to follow you everywhere. Look at that tower. Hey! <laughs> Looking good. Hello? If you come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. Okay. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. I will. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Who? Who's Rogvir? I guess we'll find out who that is in a minute. Can we go up through this bit? Yeah. Let's go say hello to the lady. Hello, lady. Hmm. Hello. 
Some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Uh, Nonsense. Oh. The man's oh, really? given me nothing. He can't uh, even be bothered to attend my wedding. Okay. Blimey. Okay, let's get rid of a poner a minute. Get me shout up. Uh, dismiss a poner. No, wrong one. Cancel. <laughs> that one. Oh, poor Pona! <laughs> it's horrible, that. Hello, you're hiding in the bush? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. All right. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Yeah. Might consider joining up myself. Yeah, I heard about that. I said something about Dawn Guard. Who's, who's wrong He's a there? sorry bastard who's going to be oh. executed. Language! A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city. Oh. After he killed the High King. Oh dear. Well, that wasn't very good then, was it? But I'm going into solitude. Whoa, right. Let's go check solitude out. Is this where the Bard's College is then? It's got to be here somewhere. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Yeah, tell them. Positions. As far as you need to go home. What? Go home and stay there until your mother comes. What are they doing to that poor man? You betrayed Get us! Traitor! Oh dear. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. That's not very nice, is All it? Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. Oh By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Wow. <laughs> Different answer to me. What are you doing to him? I hope you're not going to kill him. Oh dear. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Oh dear. I was going to... Oh, he's going to... Oh. oh. <laughs> I like to think of philosophy as a way of conclusively resolving the big questions in life. Well, like taking somebody's head off. Some gate guard you were. Were? Left his head on the side. Gone awful quiet now, haven't you? Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. I think I expect more. Where's he off to? Hello? I should have drawn it out some more. He deserved yeah. a slower death. Uh, well, that's a bit nice, isn't it? Hello? Not right now. Well, no, I know. If you're heading to the Blue Rob Palace, Fierce. you might want Why to... Why did it have to be like this? Yeah, I hope you weren't family. It's, uh, hello? A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? I know. Doesn't seem right to me. Doesn't mean either. Now he's using the grinder. I've got some salmon <gasps> to sell. you got salmon, have you? Rob you're a good man. A good man? He's a dead man. Spare some gold for a veteran? He took his head off. Been like this. Yes? Are uh, you going to talk to me? Mm? Can you talk to me? Yes. Ah. You were the one presiding over the execution. Not my finest hour. No. Rogvir was a fine and honourable man. Yeah. So do you think he was right? No. What, I think he was right? entirely wrong. Dear. Rogvir's execution was justified and necessary. Oh dear. Okay. Being honourable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. No. Be a better world if it did. Yeah, definitely. Um, are you with Legion? That I am. Are you? Train the recruits. Gear, is Turn it? Turn boys into men. Right. That sort of thing. Okay. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give right. the soldiers something to do while they're on rest. Something besides drinking. Yeah. Ever seen a book called The Mirror? No. We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. Oh. I'll find a copy. I'll bring it to you. Good on you. Cool. Right. How goes the training? Their aim could be steadier. Okay. But they're battle ready. Are they? Keep my men in your prayers. You'll oh, need them if they don't shape up. You've got to keep an eye out for dragons too, because you live next to a mountain, and now you just walked off. Rude. People just so... Oh, I don't want to go up there. That's gross. Left his head behind. <laughs> What's this place? I'm waiting. What for? Oh, your book. You have to wait. I gotta find it first. 
Well, that's that eagle-eyed chap. Ooh. What's this then? Winking skeever. What's a winking skeever when it's at home? Let's go and have a look. Ooh. Winking skeever, hey? <laughs> Is that a pup? Hello? Everybody's all subdued. Hello? Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Why is it called Winking Skeever? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy. I ah. used to wink. Did it? You kept a skeever? They were smaller back then. Oh, were they? Oh, right. Oh, okay. Have you heard People any rumors? People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. Yeah? He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Oh, right. Okay. Investigate the man wandering the streets at the Bard's College. I haven't got there yet. Any more rumors? I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. Oh. You should speak to the head of the College, Viarmo, if you're interested. Okay. I'll have to have a go and have a look. You got anything well, else? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet oh. skeever when I was a boy. Why did it click the wrong wink? one? Yeah, I know. I guess that was a good reason. I thought so. <laughs> Try that one again. Arnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. Yeah. He was worried about something. Oh. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Okay. Head to Solitude Court. Blimey, you've got loads of rumours. I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. Okay. I will do that too. Looks like your rumours have run out. What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. Silver for the donut that wants to make her clothing? No, obviously not. Okay. <laughs> Remember the winking skeever next uh, time your foot's sore. I will. I can hear somebody playing something. Playing a loop. Is that a loop? Hello, I'm Gizly. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Oh, you're Everyone Gizly. Everyone does. Hello, Gizly. Welcome to the center of the world. Or oh, at I... least my brother Erica's world. Oh, okay. So he's your brother then? Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. Right, okay. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. Okay. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. <laughs> fop? <laughs> it doesn't seem like oh, a good attitude. if you're looking attitude. for a good attitude, go see the bards. Okay. They'll fake it for you if nothing else. Right. I'll... If you're looking for truth instead, yeah. see Noster. Oops. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And right. if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Okay, Gizly. Catch you later. We'll speak again later, if we must. Yeah, well, you started talking to me, missus. It wasn't me. I was going to talk to... Have you feel met free my dear to make requests. Erica. The man's as trustworthy as a Khajiit goldmonger. She, she never shuts up that gazette. Giz whatever she is called behind me. What's the word about Generally, town? if you want rumors, <laughs> you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Ooh. Does being a bard oh, pay well? No, but being surrounded by good music, good yeah. drink, and good friends yep, is yep. all I've ever asked for. Cool. So you remember the bard school? Only in that I'm a graduate. I work graduate. here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Okay. I'll go and find Viarmo. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus what? keeps a clean in. Yes, it's very clean. Hello, I'm Gizly. I know. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Uh, shut Everyone up, Gizly. Does. You just don't shut up, Gizly. Now she's playing the lute. Flute. Flute in the lute. Hello? By blade or by spell. If you want it dead. I'll make it dead. Now nah, you're all right. All you need to do <laughs> is pay my fee. Okay, another time perhaps. If you change your mind, yeah, yeah. seek me out here. Bellrand. Okay. The blade can be as <laughs> lethal as the spell. Yes. But deadlier still is the one who wields both. All oh, right, okay. Um, Joanna? Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. Hammerfell. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. I haven't been to Hammerfell yet. Uh, I've been traveling all over. Where the dragon attacked? Yeah. We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies, but no real news. Yeah, there was a dragon. The rumors are true. We should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. Yeah. A sword is no good against a dragon. No. You need a bow. You're a long way from home. I. I think. But I'll be here in solitude for longer still. All right. Fiat's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. Ah. I wanted to learn. You like making arrows? And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city. Windhelm, that is nearly white with 
What do you call it? This one's oh, a yeah. Snow? Snow. Legend we and far to the west lies a ruin. Okay. Full sky. Inside, there's said to be a wall. Okay. Black as night. Uh, and it speaks yeah. in the ancient dragon tongue. That good bulls, there are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Shit. Never. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. Cool. Believe the dragonborn comes. She got an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, huh? Sorry, I just listened to the music. Dragonborn comes. She can sing well, can't she, Lucian? For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. She's good. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. Yay! She sings very well. I can't clap, but if I could, he can, they can. <laughs> well done, you did it for me. Yeah, she can sing. She sings well. Okay, who's that? Hello? Hiya. Hi. What's your name? Are you visiting? I'm Ronnie. What do you do? Um, stuff. Is that it? Right, okay. She didn't want to talk to me, really. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Let me out. Somebody just walked straight through me then. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, God, blue. Hello? Uh, you were there for Rogvir's execution. <clears throat> uh, how do you take mind Most off something people like head that? over to the Winking Skeever. Yeah, I've just been there. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. Okay. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. All right, I'll see if I can find them. Nasty bit of vi Perhaps, business, wasn't it? but necessary. Really? My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, oh. fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his dams insurrectionists. Oh, dear. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. Yeah, true. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. Yeah. Why did they execute You really him, don't know? No. He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, really. murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. <laughs> okay, thank you for your help. People to see and places to go, huh? Yeah. Later then. Later. Right, so what sort of time are we looking at here? Has the body gone? Because I would like to go up there and have a look. No, it's hideous. Spare some gold for a veteran? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, not yet, because I need some silver. So is this a house then? God blimey, it's getting dark in here now. It's time for you to go. Why? Are you shutting? Oh, what bad day? Delight. Another oh dear. charming customer. Yeah, bad day. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Oh. Do you get a lot of business? Radiant then? Raymond <laughs> has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. Uh huh. That is how we get business. All right. Um, Finally. God, you're miserable, aren't you? Right, I'm going then. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. Cheers for the close-up. <laughs> right, let's end. Let's, let's get out of there. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Hmm. If you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Raiment. Yeah, that's where I am. What's wrong with my outfit? I just made it! Nothing at all. It's very... nice. Yes. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. Yeah, I will. We could fix you right up. And you're bouncing. You know you can afford a Do you always it's not insult, an insult people? It is. Just an observation. No. If I, I were walking it. around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. No. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where mm. a tire is concerned. Yeah, you're definitely rude. So what, what, what should I wear at the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace? Yeah, I guess that so. That presents an opportunity. Does it? If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and uh. speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Really? Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raiment. Elisif. Okay, Radiant Raiment, fine clothes added. Right, okay. Thank you. Remember Radiant Raiment when you need a change of attire. Yeah, well, you didn't change my cloak. Cool, look at me glowing. Ha! <laughs> I'm glowing nicely. <laughs> I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. Blue, in it? You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Pub's over there. 
Hello? They're new in town, right? I am. If you need a place to sleep, head over to the Winking Skeever. So who's in charge of something? Jarl sorry. Elisif the Fair. Dude. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. Yeah. It's a dark day for us all. Really? Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. Falk. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. Right. I can deliver it. Save me a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Here. Take it to the Blue Palace. They're obsessed with the Blue Palace. Work in it. I own it. You own it? Oh. Well, okay. okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but Your it's father. the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. <laughs> you were at the execution, weren't you? I showed up to watch, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. What? It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Oh, really? I never met him. It was a bit harsh. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Oh. Vivian Onus. No idea. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. All right. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. Oh. From that point forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. It took a mickey, did Beat it? me up, dump meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Oh, Once dear. he even slipped a beehive into my bed. <laughs> we were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any right. talk about him being an honorable Nord? Ugh, pure folly. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Nah, I was done talking anyway. Yeah, I guess he was. Oh, everybody's cold. Hello, you're the blacksmith. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? You make armor for the Imperials then, do you? It's almost all I have time for these days. Really? The men Busy? training here in solitude, and the troops out in the field. Yeah. They all need weapons and armor. Ah. But I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. No. You're pretty dedicated ah. then, to the Empire. To be honest, no. <laughs> But High King Torig supported them. And now, her lady Elisif has thrown in with them. Oh dear. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's Jarl's man now. Jarl, yeah, not king. My loyalty lies with solitude. Right. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Okay, okay. Have you ever considered going out there I and fighting yourself? I think I would, if it weren't for my son. Ah, and got son. a wife. I want a wife. Oh, same I would have my hide if I even suggested I might step foot on a battlefield. Really? You think mm. storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? Should be chasing out the house <laughs> with a spoon. <laughs> Return any time you need arms or armor. Okay, well. My forge never rests. Where is your forge then? You must be up that way somewhere, because you come from that way. Can I find out drain? I've got a little work, if you're interested, traveller. What are you? Hello? Jari! You look new. I'm new too. Are you? I think we could be friends. Really? Okay. You're passing through solitude? Yeah. Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Mm, possibly. What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Really? Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or just left lying around in someone's house. Okay. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why mm. not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. Oh, yeah. We like to collect things. Me too. I'm um, not safe. Of course not. No, no. Thieves take what is precious. <laughs> Thieves steal. We just take yeah. what will not be missed. What no one needs anymore. Maybe we take some weapons and stop a few deaths. Yeah. Who would call that thievery? Hmm, okay, I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Right. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through dangerous waters. Yeah. We have an interest in one of those boats. Oh, the Ice Runner. Ice Runner? The oh. Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. Okay. But if its fire were to go out, yeah. the ice runner would run aground. Yeah. So you want me to put the lighthouse fire what out? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. You're sneaky. 
Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and yeah. then meet me on the docks afterwards, is that a big hint? I could certainly direct them to that loot. I'm guessing they could. Setting on a wreck, I should turn you into the guards. What would happen to the sailors on the boat? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Possibly. Uh, setting up a wreck. I should turn you into the guards. Oh. Do I really want to say that? <laughs> um. Should I try it? Turn me in? Yeah. For what? I don't know. What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. Yeah, possibly. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Very profitable, hey? All right, then. I'll leave you to it. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. All right. See you later, lizard man. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, I'm your man. He's a proper lizard. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. Did he? With his voice. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Shouted him apart. Blew him to pieces. I like your dragon. God, it's... Let's move time on. Uh, time. <laughs> I nearly shouted them. <laughs> so close together. <laughs> Let's move time on, because I can't see. And then people come out as well when it's daytime. People have started coming. Oh, look at the decorations. See, I never noticed that. Is that decorations or is that hoops? Is that for a game? A coin or two for a veteran? Yeah, it's you... not much to ask. Okay. Oh, what's this for? Whoa. There's a sign on the door. Bits and pieces, eh? Um, I've still got to move time on. Time. You know you can afford a septum or two. Why is my time not working? <laughs> there. Because I pressed the wrong button again. Right. Are people open now? Yay! Bits and pieces. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello? What have you got then? Oh, you got some stuff. You're Aaron a bit nicer. said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Not really. Who's Berend? Berend's my husband. Ah. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. Ah, got you. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. I know. He said he was busy. So you were at no, his execution? That was an ugly affair. Yeah, it was horrible, wasn't it? High King Gross. Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. <laughs> Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. Wasn't he? All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire, the Empire that. that John? <laughs> Thank you. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I will. Actually, <laughs> have you got any silver? Some might call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Have you got any silver? Yeah! Thank you. I need to get some more money Make together. Sure to recommend us to your associates. Oh, I will. So, Lucian, is anybody in here? Huh? Doors open. Got a giant cheese wheel. Oh, got an upstairs. Oh, and a downstairs. Can I just nosy round your downstairs? What's down here? Oh, it's only steel from. Okay, can't take anything. So I was just having a look around. Now Lucian's getting in the way. Get out of the way, Lucian. Where's Lydia gone? We've mislaid Lydia somewhere. I thought adventurers were supposed to look tough. Um, uh... Yeah, I don't look tough. I'm a girl. Did you find Lydia? Oh, yeah, well I bet done. I my papa could beat you up. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I get to help mother with the shop. Yeah. I used to help Papa too, till I tried to use the forge. Oh dear. Burn your fingers? <laughs> okay. Yay, daytime. Right, where on earth did we come from? We came from that w uh that way. We are going. Yeah, now you can see the dragon's head. Cool. Straight from the fjords, eh? Got the marketplace down there, look. 
Mark it. <clears throat> Woodcutter's axe. What is this then? Oh, Fletcher. Okay. He's not awake yet. Ooh. Guards everywhere. Someday soon you will all see battle. What you do here today may well save your lives. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh yeah, you're still waiting for a book called The Mirror, aren't you? I will find that for you. Castle Dewar, Emperor's Tower. Ooh. Whoa, look at the size of that. Come on now. I want those arrows dead center. The lives of your fellow soldiers are counting on it. Why are you looking at me when you say that? It should be your men you're talking to. That is huge. Can I go in there? If those white run guards can take down a dragon, so can we. You got attacked by something, but look at yourself, that. sneak thief. I'm not sneaking. What thieving? Oh, you're what all the is same. It? Dragons? No, but you've all got one white eye. <laughs> I'm just going in here a minute. <clears throat> Let me through. <laughs> oh, oh! Didn't we have to come in here? Oh, didn't I'm we have to? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on White Run. Is he? If you need potions, head over to Angeline's aromatics. Yeah. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day, more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Ooh. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. General Balgruf. <laughs> Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. Oh. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, yeah. if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. Yeah. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. No. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we <clears throat> need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Dear. Hello? We need the rift. We what? need to regain control of it before we can march on Windhelm without worry about our rear guard. What's a rift? Hello? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? It looks like it. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Um, pass? I believe we've already met. Have we? Yeah. Oh, oh, of course. Remember? You were at Helgen. Uh-huh. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he said he'd vouch for me. Hadvar's alive. I um, hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. Pass. But he hasn't <laughs> yes, reported he is. in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. No, no, I suppose in he can't. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? Okay. Who's that? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. No, I didn't. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Definitely was. Ooh, don't get up so fast. Speak with Legged Ricca. I need she a prisoner release from... Oh! I need a prisoner release from North Watch The Thalmor. Yeah. Do you have any idea what you're asking? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, that's just not possible. Oh. It would cause far too many problems. Oh, keep quiet. Um... Yelmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Uh-huh. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Okay. Um, what will it take Ulfric to end it? Ulfric's Stormcloak's head rolling away from his lifeless body. That's not very nice. Have you always lived in I'm Skyrim? I'm originally from Cyrodiil, sent here at the request of the Emperor himself. Ah. I'm often ordered to places with problems that need fixing. Okay. Now, while I'm certain this is all terribly interesting to you, it I is? have important matters to attend. Sir. Uh, sir. She wants you again. <whistles> sir. Um, what are you doing in the Skyrim? The Legion's always been here. Have you? Without us to keep order, the provinces would fall into barbarism and lawlessness. 
cool. Especially Skyrim. <laughs> Take, for example, Ulfric Stormcloak and his little rebellion. Yeah. But rest assured, his days are numbered. Oh dear. Okay, so uh, how goes the wall? Why is that Ulfric lit up still? Will want to take White Run from us. Will it? But we will hold fast. We can't give the rebellion free reign through the center of Skyrim. Okay. Um. Oh, come on! Let this bring. Yeah. Do you Go have on. any idea what you're asking? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's just not possible. Ugh. It would cause far too many problems. What if it was quiet? You're dismissed. Ah, uh, yeah. I dismissed you. Um, who's this? Something to report? No, you I survived don't Helgen. Know. Yeah, I did. General Tullius told me what happened. Don't Not you? many made it out alive. No, I didn't. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. Don't you? A warrior knows <laughs> to trust her gut. Yeah. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Oh. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. All right. I can handle anything. What kind of test? Oh, dear. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. It's not bravado confidence. gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. Right. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. What? If you survive, you'll pass. Okay. If you die, yeah. you'll have no further use for your corpse. What if I die several times but you don't know about it? The ancients what built the many fort? of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Right. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair. And nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Right. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're okay, going to cool. install a garrison there, but first you're uh, going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Right. Um, I'm go. Um, uh, am I going alone? Oh, not so confident now, are we? Yes, this is a test. Oh. I don't great. think you're regular militia material. Okay. I want to see what you're capable of. Okay, consider that for yours. That's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Right. So I got completed. Join the Imperial. I haven't joined. Who, oh, what? Who said start joining the Legion? Clear out Something the fort. To report? No, I just don't understand how you made me join the Legion. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Stay sharp. I spoke to you before, haven't I? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk to you because I think I spoke mm -hmm. to you already when I was outside. Um, ha how did that happen? Um, bear with me. Have a look. Uh, Jerry has asked me to. Oh, that's the fire. Where is it? Oh, I haven't joined them yet then. Where the voice? I just started something up, but I can't find. <laughs> Return to your route. Oh, keep still. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, joining the Legion. In order to prove myself to what's your face, I have to clear out the bandits. So when I clean out them, I end up joining the Legion. So what if I wanted to join other people, like companions and and Imperial and... Is this the Imperial? I don't know. This map... Look at the size of this place! <laughs> I need to check out everywhere else. I used to be an adventurer like you. Yeah. And I took an arrow in the knee. And the eye. You all took an arrow in the eye by the looks of it. Right. Where does this dragon's head is everywhere? Can't go through that door. Oh, look at that! That's cool. The Temple of the Divines. Oh, I found somewhere else. Okay, Temple of the Divines. Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How Hello. may I help? I have no idea, Freya. You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Mm, possibly. What do the shrines Those do? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. Boons? The nature of the favors varies per deity. What's Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. Okay. Uh, one of the alcoves up front is empty. Hmm? Uh, oh, yes. Don't ask me. I haven't looked yet. That once <laughs> held the shrine to Talos. 
Ah. But the warship of Talos was banned by the White Gold Concordat some time ago. Ah, yeah, of course it was. What's the White Gold Concordat? It's Concord the peace treaty that? that ended the war with the elves of the Almeri Dominion. Oh. The Dominion recognized the heresy of proclaiming Talos a god. Ah. Talos was a great man and a great emperor. Really? But that does not make him a god. Okay. No matter how much the Stormcloaks may wish it were so. If you say so. Um, I've asked you what that is. The strong and honourable always carry the blessing of the eight. Okay. Thank you. Hello? I'm too old to work, but that don't make me too old to drink. No, definitely not. You got nothing better to do than bother an old man? Mm-hmm. Okay, bugger off then. <laughs> Blessings to you. Hello? The Divines are listening. The Divines saved me from the streets, Did and they? they can save you from your trials as well. Yeah. May the Divines guide and keep you. Where's his empty alcove then? Oh, they're all jingly. Ah, uh, st oh, Stendar, eh? Okay. They're cool. The Bella. May you be saved by the Divines. Let's press as I one. Once was. Try that. Whoa, flashy. All disease is cured, all blessings removed, and blessings of Juana. Let us walk in the steps of the divines. Now you're all right. You keep chatting to me. Shush. Shush. What else is going on here? That. Ooh. Whoa. Open door. I think that's the nun's room. Or oh, the priest's. Unlock. Um, I won't unlock it just yet. Disappear. Look at the smoke. May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. You're burning too many Blessings incense. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? You need to uh, stop burning so many incense. Can't see through the room. Nice and sunshiny. Solitude. Right, that takes me back out. Hey. I thought I was in solitude. Where does that go then? Open solitude. Does that take me back down to the main center? Uh. Oh no, brings you to there. Oh, there's another door up there. How'd you get up there then? Can we go over there or is it going to hurt? Lucian, what are you doing down there? Hello. Come on. Come on now. I want those arrows dead center. The lives of your fellow soldiers are counting on it. Can't see a way up that one. Let's go and have a quick look. Let's go. We're going up, up, up. I lost my kids. <laughs> Having too much fun wandering around. Castle door. <laughs> I like it, it says castle door. <laughs> what are you? Where are we going? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Are we just running around the castlements? Whoa, ooh, nice. Ooh. Nice view. If you'd asked, I'd have moved. You're not in the way. It's quite fine, it's fine. Do we go up anymore? No, we just go down now, do we? Whee! Down we go! Down we go! Right, so we know where that goes then. Right back into the main town centre. Right, where's this other place? It's got to be this way. Got a fishing rod in the well. <laughs> There's the shops. It's a lady. What's this? To Skyrim? No, 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 no. Come back. <laughs> Watch him do a fight coming out of there. That's funny. Skyrim? No, that's not where I want to go. I've got to put some special clothes on, haven't I? I'm not allowed to wear my sexy gear. Okay. What's this special clothes then? Uh. What did they say it was? Radiant raiment fine clothes. Ugh. Not very interesting, is it? 
No, I don't like that. We'll wear it. Looks like you're close. Are you Lisbeth? Or whatever she's called. Good evening. Oh no. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Can it's you chat? It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Really? What else do you do around here? I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Ah, what's Wanderers that? like you should think about applying. Where is it? Thank you. Where now is you it? You can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Okay. I've met the most talented bard in Skyrim, apparently. That looks weird. Hasn't got a door. Oh, it's got a door there. Oh, ooh, a hole of the dead. Ugh. Dead things live in there. Money. <laughs> money. Loads of places to pinch money. Is that where we just come from? Must be. Is that where we go? Ooh. Yeah, that's where we're going. Something called a blue palace. Hello? You, you help me. You help people, right? Possibly. That's what you do. Why have you got black eyes? What do you need? My master has abandoned me. Oh. Abandoned his people. Oh. And nothing I say can change his mind. Oh dear. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. Really? It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Mm, possibly. Uh, how can I find you, Last master? I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. Oh. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no. Such people are below him. Oh dear. No. He went into the forbidden wing of the palace really? to speak with an old friend. Oh. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Okay. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's what? very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Really? Uh, so why don't you leave him, Master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Uh-huh. Again, access to cub. Blimey, loads of stuff came up. Flipping egg. <laughs> uh, I'm a bard. I'm a I bard. Keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Yeah, they could. not I've just seen another symbol. Look. Oh. Advar's house. He's got a symbol. What does that mean? Proud Spire Manor. Unless Hello. we have specific business. I'm not. When I was a Talk young here. rascal, Stop I broke a away. man's arm with a single punch. Did you? Of course. I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. <laughs> Good way to do it. Okay. Is that her again? Yep. It's her again. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to this blue palace. <laughs> Look at the road. The building. Wow. I'm going to get in there at some point. What's that? It's just a hole. <laughs> it's an empty garden. Hello, Blue Palace discovered. Look at the size of that. Blue Palace. Can I come in? Hello? Got to thinking. Yeah? Maybe I'm the dragonborn. Yeah? I just don't know it yet. Maybe you are. Right, I'm going in. Never seen a minute. Going in. Blue Palace, let me in. Let me in, let me in. Ah, what's going on in here then? How did you get in here? <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there's a man there. Hello? Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human. Oh, he even has green a eyes. Really? No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. Are you the I find wizard? them wondrous. Are you a wizard? No. no. That honor is Sabeel Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. Does he? And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Oh, it's a she, is it? I'm pot sort of, What do you mean? Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Oh. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. It is. I've said enough. Talking a lot of stuff. What's your job? I make sure Erica keeps breathing. Oh, really? Where can I learn oh, more I about magic? Oh, I think you'll find that magic is rare in Skyrim. Not really. Winterhold, though. The college there has it in abundance. 
Really? Look there if you wish to learn. Okay, I will. Let's you are chatting. free to leave. What do you mean I'm free to leave? I came to talk to you. I don't understand why you're in here. Why are you looking so stressed out in here? Trouble? No. Oh, hello. Hello. Just tidying up. Are you? Uh. Maybe you need a partner, hmm? Just picture it. Two women, the dusty road, strapping men at every tavern, a <laughs> fortune in gold to be claimed. Yeah. Um, I need to get the plug. Oh, I get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Really? Besides, it's scary in there. Is it? Folk asked me to check it out. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in, but okay. only briefly. Yeah. Be careful and come right back. Okay. Don't mess anything up while you're here. I won't. Okay. Thank you, Erdy. Right, uh... Someday, I'll be a gallant heroine. You make it look so appealing. It is, especially when I you go... Well, you. I don't like this suit. Are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. What cave? Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Yeah. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your eminence, rules. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Possibly. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Yeah. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? What cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. But it's me. Rest easy. You're dismissed. Yeah, don't go too far. I've got what I came for. Have you? you better get back to Dragonbridge. Oh, they're all running away. Come here. Aren't you worried about... I've done my part. Okay. Dragon Bridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bingley bong. Uh, where did everybody go? Oh, you sat down. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. You stormed off, Una. Watch you. Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need? Um, I have no idea. Need something? No. Okay. Were you going to say something? <laughs> Erker. Bryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but politically irrelevant. What's your place in this court, then? I'm a thane. A thane. In the future, <laughs> you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of Sorry. looking like an idiot. I am. All that. I know, I do look like an idiot. So what? Oh, do most all the certainly. Things? At least when Elisif herself asks. Okay. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. <laughs> the Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. Cool. Cool. Right then. must return to the court. Yeah. They simply can't make do without me. Can't they? Uh, hello, Bryling. Thane Bryling, at your service. Oh, you're a Thane, are you? I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. Cool. I understand what's best for solitude, and Jarl Elisif knows it. <coughs> Bro. Right, uh, let's talk to... Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I'm not talking to you. I want to talk to the Jarl. Hello. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Can I not... Why did Ulfric kill your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Really? Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. You sure? He thought he deserved it more than Torik. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. Oh dear. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. <coughs> I got one of them. Or a nightmare. <laughs> when Ulfric unleashed such fury... Yeah. My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. Oh. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Oh dear. Are you the Queen of Skyrim then? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, yeah. and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. Sure. This land is riven by war, and oh. her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks <laughs> are a blight on Skyrim, <laughs> and like any blight, must be purged. Okay. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Cool. So you do, do you tr General Tullius, do you hmm. trust him? A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. Really? 
They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that yeah. he risks forgetting what's best for our people. Oh dear. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. It possibly. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yeah. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other okay. choice do we have? I've no idea. Do you like my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. It is, isn't it? The craftsmanship is excellent. Uh, it was made by the Radiant Rain. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Cool. Cool. So I've got to tell Tari now. <laughs> Do you need someone to check out the cave? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. No. I think Falk is taking care of that. I haven't spoke to him yet, but thanks for talking. Be well. And you? Pray for solitude and my husband. I will. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Shut up, Sybil. Do you have business with the court? Uh, uh, with you? I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Oh, well. Um, I got delivery. Oh, right. The rum. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. <laughs> Here, this is for you. Thank you. 400 gold, thank you. Hey, are you looking for um, someone you to do the You mean the Dragon cave? Bridge issue? Apparently. To be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Were you? Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. Ah. There I can have do it. been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. Really? I suspect wild animals. Aliens? Or perhaps bandits. Odd I lights? don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. Possibly. But if you want to clear out the cave. Yeah. I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Oh, nice one. So why is it called Wolfskull cave? The cave has a bad history. Of what? Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. Really? That's where it got the name. Still going that on? That was over 500 years ago. Oh, that's cool. Nothing much down there now. Okay. But everyone's Bro. always convinced the cave is haunted. Ah, uh, so what will happen now if... If the Empire wins that the war. That remains to be seen. Really? By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. Yeah. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for right. that claim to have any meaning. Yeah, yeah. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Really? Does he respect Of General? course he does. Does he respect What sort her? of a question is that? Well... Maybe you've been listening to Erika. Yeah, There's I have. been loose talk <laughs> among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. He You'll said something. You'll pay those rumors no heed if okay. you wish to retain your welcome in this city. I will. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. Right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. Cool. You do well to remember that. Oh, uh -huh, remember it, don't you worry. Feel free to return to me with questions. Okay. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Be quick. Well. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Oh, let's talk if to I you. What's your problem? From you, you would know it. <laughs> What's your problem? Nothing. Uh. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. you but... Oh, don't give me that look. <laughs> Fine. I suppose <laughs> I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Yeah. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Oh dear. Bodies have been found with blood drained. Yeah. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. Okay, I can see what I can do. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Really? So, where, where, where are you there when King Thingy died? I was, to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Was it? So why was he killed then? Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The white gold concordat. The banning of Talos worship. Yeah. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. Right. When he died, Torg became that symbol. Ah, so the war started when he died then? No. Even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig mm -hmm. High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot. Continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. Oh dear. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. Okay. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, yeah. to declare independence, yeah. Torg might have done it. 
Ah, so why didn't he declare because independence? Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Right. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Oh, they? Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Obviously. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man. Was it? And this is his empire. Uh, and Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. Gotcha. So how long have you been the court I wizard? I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. Were you? It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Okay. So you're the High King? Very. Close? I helped raise him. Did you? Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. So I'm very old then. King. Uh, where can I learn more about magic? I have no time or patience for a student. Okay. Perhaps the College of Winterhold will grant you admission. Yep. Thank you. Vampires are clever hunters. More yeah. clever than you, definitely. Yeah, and they chew on Do your you neck. Do you have business with the court? No, I've finished now. I've finished now. Be I'll... quick. I yeah. have little patience for mundane concerns. Shut up, Sebo. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. All right. You direct those concerns to me. Yes. I've already spoke to her. She liked the clothes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let me get outside the door because this is... They're just going to keep talking. Oh. Oh, you've just moved. That's all right then. I'm going out here. <laughs> Hopefully it's still daylight after all that chatting. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Oh. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Yes, Dawn Guard. I'd consider joining up myself. I would. Right, let's get into some sunshine. <laughs> Let me get away from the people. Right, Lucian, let's get down here. Out of the way a bit. People just keep talking to me. Oh, these little houses are so cute. Right, guys, I'm gonna have to stop it there because I'm up to my hour. And we've done loads today. Got my new suit, which I haven't got on at the moment, but we got the Radiant Refinements clothing on. Sort of goes with my gloves. I like how your ring goes on the outside of your gloves, though. That's quite cool. <laughs> and yet again, it's getting dark. Oh, dear. But good time to shut down, I think. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like, please subscribe. This is Ronnie Slayer. I'm signing off. We've had a load of fun today. Things done. And we'll have to get back to it again next time. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye for now. Bye.